Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation classes. Okay. In this video, I am going to discuss electrical specialization topics. Electrical specialization topics. In this uh, first topic, inverters. 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 Inverter, inverter means which converts DC to AC. Inverter converts DC power to AC power. In case of power controlled inverters, they are converts DC power to variable AC power at desired voltage and frequency. At desired voltage and desired frequency. The phase controlled rectifiers when operated with alpha is greater than 90 degrees are known as line commutated inverters. The rectifiers, rectifier means which converts AC to DC. These rectifiers when operated with alpha, that is alpha is nothing but firing angle. Firing angle greater than 90 degrees means uh, here it is 180 degrees, it is 90 degrees. Of, that means alpha is greater than 90. That means 90 to 180. When the alpha is greater than 90 degrees, then the rectifiers are, uh, rectifiers are known as line commutator inverters rectifier then phase control rectifiers when operated with alpha is greater than 90 degrees they are known as line commutated inverters coming to the first one single phase half wave bridge inverter single phase half wave bridge inverter here the supply is dc supply we can get the ac output we can get the ac output here the, this is the supply supply for uh, giving the gate signal the output is Vs by 2 and by negative gate signal for second gate signal that means it is given to second thyristors then the output is negative Vs by 2 and then due to positive gate signal the output is here and this is negative in this way we can get the output output is Vs by 2 Vs by 2 that means V0 equal to Vs by 2 and I0 equal to V0 by R that is Vs by 2R and the output voltage at every A cycle for every half of the supply voltage every A cycle every half cycle that is Vs by 2 the output voltage is Vs by 2 that is half of the supply voltage that is half of the supply voltage in case of full bridge directive full bridge inverter the output voltage is equal to the supply voltage in case of uh, single phase half wave bridge rectifier two thyristors with uh, two diodes uh, two diodes forms a bridge forms a bridge to convert DC to AC supply in case of full wave bridge inverter there are four thyristors T1 T2 T3 T4 with along with combination of four diodes D1 D2 D3 D4 this is the supply voltage DC supply voltage Vs and the output is follows like this Vs 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 the Vs that means uh, total uh, in output voltage equal to supply voltage supply voltage v not equal to vs and i not equal to vs by r the output voltage is same as vs same as vs for in case of single phase half bridge rectifier two thyristors with two diodes are used in case of single phase full bridge rect inverter four thyristors with four diodes are used for conversion okay next topic if inverter is feeding a pure inductive load if inductor is feeding with pure inductive load inductive load inductive load means we know that voltage leads the current inductive loads voltage leads the current and the shape of the output current for this inverter shape of output current is triangular wave very very important if an inverter is feeding with a pure inductive load the shape of output current is triangular and the shape of output voltage is square wave voltage is square wave output current is triangular wave square wave and it is a triangular wave triangular wave it is a square wave and the slope of variation of current slope of variation of current is vs by inductance l vs by l and peak value of current ip equal to vs by l into t by 4 t by 4 
peak to peak current peak to peak current means 2 ip 2 ip that is vs by l into t by 4 t by 2 sorry t by 2 t by 4 into 1 by 2 that means t by 2 conduction duration either diode or transistor cycle equal to t by 4 conduction duration is t by 4 if an inverter is feeding with a pure inductive load main important bits are shape of the output output current is triangular shape of the output voltage is square wave if in if inverter is feeding with pure capacitive loads pure capacitive loads means current current leads current leads the voltage current leads the voltage the shape of the output voltage is triangular wave and shape of the output current is square wave here voltage leads means the output voltage is square wave here current leads means the output current is square wave the remaining is here uh, output current triangular here output voltage is triangular okay and the slope of output voltage is i by c and peak value of output voltage vp equal to i by c into t by 4 and one important uh, bits are voltage source inverters voltage source inverters are suitable for inductive loads voltage source inverters are suitable for inductive loads current source inverters are suitable for capacitive loads very very important bits these are voltage source inverters are suitable for inductive loads current source inverters are suitable for capacitive loads okay next voltage control in single phase inverter voltage control in single phase inverter the internal control of voltage in a single phase inverter takes place in following ways of pulse width modulation techniques takes in takes place in following ways of pulse width modulation techniques for single pulse modulation technique single pulse here we use we are using only single pulse single pulse that is uh, for each half cycle uh, one single pulse is used for each half cycle this is a half cycle this is a full cycle for each half cycle single single pulse is used for this half cycle this single pulse is used this half cycle this single pulse this half cycle this single pulse so the single pulse is used and the output v rms p output rms equal to vs into root of 2d by pi root of 2d by pi here it is a 2d to eliminate n nth harmonics n d equal to pi and d equal to pi by n width of the pulse width of the pulse we know that 2d that equal to 2 d means pi by n 2 pi by n the width of the pulse for single pulse modulation is 2 pi by n very very important width of width of pulse in single pulse modulation is 2 d that equal to 2 pi by n and multiple multiple pulse modulation multiple pulse modulation for this multiple pulses are used for every half cycles multiple pulses are used for every half cycles that is uses more than one pulse for each half cycle and v output rms equal to vs into same root 2d by pi and carrier wave triangular carrier wave triangular this is the carrier wave triangular and uh, this is reference voltage this is reference voltage waveform uh, reference voltage waveform for intersection of this reference voltage with the triangular we can get the output for this this point to this point intersection points this point to this point we can get the output for this we can get the output for this can get the output for this the intersection of these points can get the output okay in this way you can get the output and the, for number of pulses for every half cycle this number of pulses for every half cycle length of half cycle of reference waveform reference waveform is nothing but this is the reference waveform length of half cycle of a reference waveform that is here to here half cycle reference waveform by width of the one cycle of triangular carrier wave width of one cycle width of one cycle of the carrier wave that is uh, length of half cycle for the for half cycle 1 by 2 fr by full cycle here one cycle means 1 by 1 by fc that is fc by 
टू एफ आर एफ सी बाई टू एफ आर दैट इज ओमेगा सी बाई टू ओमेगा आर टू ओमेगा आर सो द नंबर ऑफ पल्स फॉर एवरी हाफ साइकिल एन इक्वल टू ओमेगा सी बाई टू ओमेगा आर फॉर एवरी हाफ साइकिल फॉर एवरी हाफ साइकिल एंड साइनसाइडल पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन साइनसाइडल पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन इन दिस पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन मेन इंपॉर्टेंट बिट्स आर वाट वाट इज द कैरियर वेव वाट इज द रेफरेंस वेव ओके फॉर साइनसाइडल पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन कैरियर वेव लो फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रैंगुलर वेव एंड रेफरेंस वेव इज लो फ्रीक्वेंसी साइनसाइडल वेव दैट मीन्स एवरी पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन टेक्निक फॉर साइनसाइडल रेफरेंस वेव इज साइनसाइडल फॉर ट्रिपजाइडल द रेफरेंस वेव इज ट्रिपजाइडल फॉर ट्रैंगुलर ट्रैंगुलर इज रेफरेंस वेव ओके फॉर दिस साइनसाइडल पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन रेफरेंस वेव इज साइनसाइडल कैरियर वेव इज हई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रैंगुलर वेव फॉर्म ट्रैंगुलर वेव एंड द मॉडलेशन इंडेक्स फॉर साइनसाइडल वेव पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन इज वि आर बै विसी वि आर बै विसी अंड द मॉडलेशन इंडक्टेंस इंडेक्स इज आलवेज लेस् दैन वन मॉडलेशन इंडेक्स इज आलवेज लेस् दैन वन फर् ट्रिपजाइडल पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन फर् ट्रिपजाइडल ट्रिपजाइडल मीन द रेफरेंस इज मस्ट बी ट्रिपजाइडल दट ईज लो फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रिपजाइडल अंड कैरियर वेव इज हई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रैंगुलर वेव फॉर्म हई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रैंगुलर वेव फॉर्म अंड ट्रैंगुलर पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन रेफरेंस वेव इज लो फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रैंगुलर वेव फॉर्म अंड कैरियर वेव इज आलो हई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रैंगुलर वेव फॉर्म सो बै आल दिस कैरियर वेव फॉर्म ईज ट्रैंगुलर वेव फॉर्म अंड रेफरेंस वेव इज करस्पांग करस्पांग टेक्निक इयर सैनसाइडल पल्स विथ मॉडलेशन रेफरेंस वेव इज सैनसाइडल ट्रेबाइडल मीन रेफरेंस वेव इज ट्रेबाइडल and uh, triangular pulse width modulation is reference wave is triangular and uh, for all these carrier wave is triangular wave form triangular wave and maximum output voltage for single phase inverter the maximum output voltage for single phase inverter is greater than three phase inverter that means uh, the output voltage is higher higher in single phase inverters than three phase inverters if uh, xc is greater than capacitive reactance xc is greater than xl the commutation is load commutation load commutation what is the commutation means the turning off of the thyristor is called commutation turning off of thyristor is called as commutation okay okay friends thank you in the next video i will explain remaining electrical topics they are nothing but choppers okay okay thank you